Let us look at the format of a manufacturing account for a better understanding. Again, in the books of so and so, manufacturing account is for the year. What does it start with? It starts with the raw material consumed. What is the raw material consumed? Opening stock plus what purchased plus carriage inward. All costs in bringing the goods in less return, less closing stock. So opening stock plus purchases, less closing stock. When we take purchases, we take net of return. When we take purchases, we add any other cost which are incurred to bring the raw material into the factory. So we have raw material consumed first. Opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. Purchases is net purchases, that means purchases less return and includes all costs incurred to bring the goods into the factory. Then we add direct wages and other chargeable expenses is direct expenses. Direct expenses directly related to the product. <clears throat> A total of this gives us prime cost. The total gives us prime cost. So raw material wages and direct expenses direct material direct wages and direct expenses add to give us prime cost to this we had factory overheads other indirect cost could be royalty could be high charges of machinery depreciation repairs of machinery or any other costs incurred in the factory these add up to give us the factory cost to which opening work in progress is added and closing work in progress is deducted or shown on the credit side of the manufacturing account. We also have two other items on the credit side of the manufacturing account. Two items, why are they shown on the credit side? They go to reduce the cost of production. How is that? For example, one of the items is a byproduct. In the process of manufacture, it is possible that we get some byproduct, a, a byproduct which is not really required by the manufacturer. He sells it at a low cost in the market, and these costs which come in, they go to reduce the cost of production. So, sale of byproducts, by sale of byproducts, appears on the credit side it the in the amount the money which comes in on sale of byproduct or sale of any scrap sale of any scrap goes to reduce the cost of manufacture cost of production so by byproducts by sale of byproducts by sale of scrap by closing work in progress the balance is the cost of production the cost of goods produced and this is transferred to the trading account the trading account is prepared as before where you have opening stock of finished goods. You have instead of costs now, these costs are entirely this cost of cost of production which has been transferred. On the credit side, you have the sales and the closing stock of finished goods and we get a trading account with a gross profit.